All right, I've installed the new scuttle valve, and it's doing something similar, but not quite the same. This is the old scuttle valve. I, I took it apart, and there's a diaphragm in the center that flaps from one side to the next, and it pushes a little steel rod, you know, from one side to the next. So when the right bank is depleted, it sucks in, and it opens up, it takes this, uh, this rubber off of the seat inside here and allows for the left bank to, to, uh, to function. At least that's how it's working in theory. On this one, somehow oxygen was getting past this rod and coming out the hole on the side here. See it there. <clears throat> on this new one, something similar is happening, but not quite exactly the same. I have this completely shut off, and I have all of these completely shut off. And look, I have 900 pounds. How is that possible? I come over here, I bleed the air off. says low, leave it alone, now it's up to 70, remember these are still off, to 76, and it's going to flip back over to the right bank with only 90 pounds. I'm guessing in a real world situation, it still has 52 so once they deplete this again it'll switch back so it'll be pulling off of the left bank but it's wasting a lot of oxygen in between something is still wrong with this because bad stuff, or we got a lemon, or something else is going on. I really don't want to lead toward Amico is selling bad stuff, because then we would probably want to switch out the entire regulator, which gets expensive. So you just switch back over, or yeah. So then in a real world case, the doctor is using the right bank, depletes it, Immediately, because as soon as you push the button, you're back over to bleeding more oxygen. So, this is what I'm dealing with. And it doesn't seem like there's any check valve in here to prevent the oxygen from getting back into the chamber. And on the old shuttle valve the gaskets seem clean and when it fits into the in the rut here it's actually leaking in between that guy right there where the rod comes through I don't know how clearly you can see that so that's the situation so far. Uh, my next course of action is to get on the phone with Amico uh, Monday morning and find out and pick the brain, you know, of the valve guy over there. After that, probably gonna have to call this guy right here. He's the guy that came in, I guess, in March, January, February, March, April, May. I'm sorry, May. And, uh, and verified the system. I've, I've checked the other uh, manifolds. None of them work that way. This one here, for example. 
I depleted this side and it switched over to this side and then did not switch back over immediately and still it's still on the left bank. How these are supposed to work, I think, is once it switches over, it's supposed to delete the or deplete the entire bank before it switches back over. That makes that makes the most sense anyway. And that seems to be how the other two work as well. So that's that's the situation. Thanks for watching.